I remembered the friendship formed between a revolutionary Jamaican writer, Dottie Bookman, and an eight-year-old Aboriginal child, Apochita, in Canada. Dottie, in his book, Tried and True, Revelations of a Rebellious Youth, details, among other things, his own spiritual journey and the immense positive effect Rastafari had on his personal evolvement. Apochita is a child who, on different occasions, I have turned to for advice because of her spiritual awareness, liberated mind, and what I feel is her uncanny ability to see the things. Apochita's mother wrote me and said, when Apochita and Dutty met, it was like they had known each other for years. It was like something was pulling them together. One day, soon after encountering Dutty Bookman at a reggae concert, I had the chance to speak to Apochita. I said, do you remember Dutty, the writer from Jamaica? He remembers you. He said he really liked talking to you. Very excited and in such a sweet way, Apochita said, Oh, yes, I remember him. He's such an excellent man. Certainly, in my life experience, I have found children to be remarkably perceptive, especially if, as in the case of Apochita, they are raised in a way that respects and affirms their own particular spiritual vision. The words of psychotherapist Bob Manning came to mind. I remember him speaking to me about black people who were searching for spirituality outside of the framework of the traditional church and how they were drawn to native spirituality. It seemed to me that the meeting of Apochita and Dutti symbolizes the encounter of people from two different cultures brought together by their spiritual awareness, a coming together of black and Aboriginal cultures in a manner that has the potential to offer so much to humanity. This has been an excerpt from the book IR30, Indigenous Visions in Dub.